Use my Emerson Electric 77646 AS. Now this fan is in rough condition, so this summer I'm going to completely sandblast it. Sandblast it and try to get as close to the paint as possible. I might have somebody match it up for me. But I'm going to have to have somebody balance this blade because I don't have a stroboscope. And if I did, I'd probably be able to do this, but I got it as close as I possibly can by just looking at it, because the blade with the air on it needs to be pushed forward a little bit, just because it's bent a little, and it just has some issues, so, the phone keeps on going out of focus, and here it is on, it shakes a lot on low, I'll just put it to high to start it up, and put it on low, that way you know. It is rated for point, um, point four two amps, and I think it needs a new capacitor or something. It is running on that um, 120 volts, so it is trying a little more with off-balance blade. It's not terrible on low. The only reason why it's not that loud and it doesn't look like it's vibrating that much is because it's on carpet. I go up close and you can see how much it vibrates if I go to the side. It doesn't look terrible because I got it pretty good. This was off balance a lot. And it puts out a good breezing being off balance. It does oscillate, just not that well being off balance. So let me show the watts. There's a watt. Let me go to medium. I did replace the head wire because the, the old one somebody replaced with some wire that wasn't even like meant for meant for appliances. It was like a six wire wire that wasn't even meant for. I think it was only like 21 or 22 gauge wire, which is meant for like doorbells or something it didn't it obviously didn't work but I replaced it and it worked so I don't know if I have a picture of the old one but I'll look for it the blade also I had to the piece in the middle I had to take a socket uh, for I had to take a socket and then I had to hammer it in to keep the blade on it still or the, the spindle on the blade still loose. I did hammer it in though. It's way tired now. But sometimes it'll spin. So yeah. 9.6. The watch 45. You can see it's. Shaking, that's not me. Shaking a lot. And now I'll put it on high. I would, I don't, I'm not gonna run this a lot like this, but it's much better than what it was. Just I wouldn't run it overnight because you can mess up. I wouldn't want to mess up the bearings or the bearing. I, I meant the spindle. Wouldn't want to take that stress on the housing because it is supported from the back, and that's like a lot of a lot of stress on that housing. shaking a lot so I won't be running this long Let's try 
point four nut. This is not terrible at all though. Point five two. Let's see the spin down. I'm gonna do the oscillation because it just jerks back and forth because of the fan head shaking it off balance. Didn't have the longest spin down because it hasn't been running a while. I did re-oil it. Use the side of the fan. Oh my gosh, my phone sucks. Won't stop. Won't focus. I did have it pretty balanced, but when I put it on, I overpitched the blade and it was drawing a lot more. So I had to redo that, and now it's a little less balanced. <sighs> now it doesn't hit the cage, and it's the right. And it's um pitched correctly. It just needs to be balanced by somebody who has a stroboscope and get it. I want it to at least be fine enough where it, it won't shake like that, and I can use it normally. The tags from 1952. I don't know if you can see that. 32. This was from 1949. It's been more time on it, but it's only from 1952. These are still great fans. Okay, it's not going to load, but there's a 32 there. Hopefully you can see it. See the new head wire. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And that is uh, Emerson Electric 77646AS. Hopefully, I'll find one that's actually balanced.